In this practical, we're going to investigate the behaviour of a material when a force is applied. Now, you might have done something similar with a spring, but this time we're going to be using a strawberry lace. Now, there are other sorts of horrible, tangy sweets available, nothing natural in these, I suspect, maybe cola, or maybe even just these rainbow stripes here. But for this one, I'm just going to be using a strawberry lace. And what I'm going to do is just hang it from this clamp stand up here. And what we're then going to do is we're going to apply a force by using a mass. Now this mass um, in the gravitational field of the Earth has a weight, and it's this weight which is going to cause this string here to extend. So what I'm going to be doing is loading up the strawberry lace in 10 gram increments. So I'm gonna add 10 grams each time. And then just using a ruler, I'm going to be recording the total length of that strawberry lace. With no force applied, we're gonna measure this as best we can I'm going to hold the ruler quite close and try not to pull this down and add too much force. I'm just going to make sure that it's straight. So we can now take our reading for the total length of that strawberry lace. And now what I'm going to do is add 10 grams to it. And the other thing I'm going to do, just to make sure that I don't have a, a mass handing on my hand, is just keep my hands clear in case this actually snaps. So we now have 10 grams we can work out the weight by multiplying it by the gravitational field strength. And this is now the total length of that strawberry lace. I'm going to do the same again. So just add another 10 grams. So we now have 20 grams on it. Thirty grams, so that's forty grams, I've got fifty grams on it now. I'm being make I'm making sure that I'm adding the masses as gently as I can. And you can see that even though I'm holding the ruler still, it is still slightly extending as that mass is pulling everything in. So let's use that value there for 50 grams. And I'm going to very, very add, carefully add another 10 grams and I'm just going to let that settle. It almost looks like it's about to fail at this point there. Okay, so we can take some data and we can maybe look at how that extends, um, which might be very different to the way that a spring behaves. And if you do this at home, perhaps, um, or if you're doing it in class, you can try different things to see how different sorts of sweets actually behave when there's this tensile pulling force applied. Now this is the data that I took from the experiment measuring to the nearest centimetre when I looked at the length of that strawberry lace. Now to work out the force applied, it's going to be equal to the weight, and the weight is equal to the mass times the gravitational field strength. So here I'm going to use a value of 10 newtons per kilogram for the gravitational field strength. So to work out the force applied and the weight, we're going to multiply each of these numbers by 10. So that's going to be 0, 0.00, and then we've got 0, 0.10, and so on. Now when it comes to the extension, this is how much longer that uh, strawberry lace got. Now initially, there's going to be no extension when no force was applied. But what we're going to do for all of the rest of these values is we're going to take off 0 0.21, the original length, from all of these other values. So we're going to have 0 0.23, take away 0 0.21 is 0 0.02. Now we're going to do that for the rest of these values. So that's just taking 0 0.21 from all of these. What I can now do is plot a graph of the force against the extension. And by convention, we tend to have the force on the y-axis and the extension on the x-axis. So here are my axes here. So we've got force versus extension. What I can now do is start plotting the data. So I'm just going to use a small cross for each piece. Uh, so when we've got um, a force of 0 0.1 newtons, we've got an extension of 0 0.02 and so on.
So now I've plotted the data, we can see there's this relationship where the bigger the force, the bigger the extension. But if I just put a ruler here, we can see that the data doesn't really fit a straight line of best fit. And that's something which is different to a spring. Now a spring that's obeying Hooke's law, there's going to be this directly proportional relationship, which means we'd have a straight line through the data that goes through the origin. With a strawberry lace, we get a slightly different behaviour. We can actually show it with a curved line of best fit, uh, maybe we can do that uh, using this actual piece of strawberry lace here. So in this case we've got this curved line of best fit and then we got to failure at this point over here. And this just shows how the behaviour of a strawberry lace is very different to the linear behaviour that we get with a metal spring.